Hey guys, I'm LB, and we're replaying this map. This one right here, called Frosh Groon's Test Chamber 02. This time it's been edited in response to that video that you just saw. And, uh, yeah, there's a small secret apparently this time. Let's go check it out. Aha! Light bridge, excellent, as I suggested. This is interesting. This was not here in the original. Ah, much better. Much better. These are some very good improvements. Very nice work. Doesn't necessarily save the map just yet, but they are good improvements. Looks like we have to press that button and that one in quick succession. Interesting. So that's- that's basically forcing a solution, which is good. It's good to try and force the solution you intend. Can we also get some gel there? Yeah, we can. Doesn't seem like a strip necessary, though. That's something we can do. Interesting, so this button controls the other side's fissures as well? Interesting. Hmm. Right, now we forget about these ceiling tile things. For some reason, I always forget these exist, even though these are, like, how we're meant to get stuff everywhere. That's how I can get that little gap. There we go. Plenty of gel, even on the pedestal button. Which, aside from the base, seems to be impervious to the gel for some reason. Right, and then... Right around this spot, I guess, we'll want some of that. That'd be my guess. And then... I need to recoat some of this. There we go. So now that's taken care of. We can do this. And... Bounce! Although, technically, we, we just need the speed to get in there. Yeah. Oh, night! look at this, there's an anti-traffic situation. This looks like either the return path, or a secret or something. That, that looks like there's something there. That's also suspicious. Right, well. Let's just get this set up again. Portal there. And there. Oh, come on now. I suppose that's mostly my fault. I am making this incredibly hard on myself. There we go, this should work. Alright, there we go. We did it that time. Alright, so with this one, there's just grading on the entire ceiling. I guess that works. Yep, that definitely does seem to work, doesn't it? Alright, so let's go ahead and press this. Interesting. I hear gel bombs somewhere. There's definitely gel bombs in the walls. So this just allows us to get access to the bounce gel for now. But not necessarily the speed gel. Hmm. Interesting. Well, let's do this like last time. And... almost done getting it everywhere. Not sure that we need it everywhere, but... But, uh, might as well, you know? There we go, problem solved. Hmm. Oh, that one. Also, this one I didn't notice. So this allows us to bounce over there. Not sure how intended this is, but, I mean, it works. That gets us a cube. Hmm. And then I guess we just re rinse and repeat, right? I guess so. 
save, and... push the button... Go from the fizzle of the cube accidentally. That would be catastrophic. Not really. Well, I guess that would... works, sort of. <laughs> well, just gotta do this again. No worries. We. There we go. Now we're up here with the cube. Now that we've done that, what has that done for us? Well, that's just opened the exit and turned that off. Am I supposed to be able to do that? I don't actually know. Hmm. You know, I kind of feel like we were supposed to have somehow been able to access... Oh, we can still access it! Right! Oh, now that's there! Ooh, let's go deal with that first. That's probably for the Easter Egg, right? Uh-huh. Hmm, what's the best way... to do this? Ah, whatever, we can just redo stuff. Excuse me, let me get through here, please. Oh, we need a cube here, huh? Hmm... What would be the best way to do that, I wonder? Press that... and... Get through here again. And we need to get the cube now, right? Hmm, actually... What if I do this... ...and that... Interesting, so we can do that, and then... ...come out of here. And now I need to get the cube, which isn't exactly a clear-cut thing to do. I don't know if the clip panel and all that stays open if I have the cube there, though. I don't know if it was when I pressed the button that spawns the cube, or what. Hmm. Well, let's try getting the cube down, which unfortunately requires us to move our portals. Not really even sure this is intended, but it works. <laughs> Alright, let's go see... what happened in here... as a result of my actions. Flip panel? Flip panel's still there, that's good news. That's still open, that's still good news. Alright, so now it's clean. What does this do? Hmm. Not exactly sure what that did, but I suppose we'll see in a moment. Anything out here? What did that do? It's not exactly clear what change, if any, that had on anything, anywhere, anyway, anyhow. It's not here. It's not in here. What did that accomplish? It has no signage on it, right? Oh, uh, I'm just here now. Okay.
Well, maybe just putting it here... ...temporarily was an easter egg of some kind. Let's not have that, please. Well, I've made a mess of things for myself. Let's just, uh, let's just fizzle this. There we go, that works. Well, I don't know what that easter egg... ...does for me, but... ...I'm just gonna put this cube back where I want it to be. There we go. And here we go. There we go. Cube on button. Exit is open. And from here, I guess we actually really do need speed gel this time. So let's go get some. Um let's do that. Uh and let's do that. There we go. And then I actually don't quite remember... ...how we got this to work. So if I put... ...that way up there... And then... we do this as per normal, right? Uh, excuse me, thank you. Yeah, that's not particularly helpful. I think we actually need bounce gel right about there. Let's try that. That seems like it should work, right? Let's try this now. And... Well, that didn't quite work out how I intended it. Let's try that again. Oh... Let's do this first, actually. Oh, except... not quite like that. There we go. Walk through here... There we go. And then, I need to aim this up here again. Uh... That works. There we go. And... Well, that was anticlimactic! <laughs> okay, that's evidently still not right, in that case. Huh, what do we want to do here instead? I don't even remember what we did last time. But this is, like, really high... ...to be... ...useful... ...in any capacity. Was it- did we just need, like, a partial... ...velocity? Like, maybe we didn't even need a full velocity, maybe we just needed partial velocity, I don't remember now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stop doing this to me, game. There we go. Still a lot of walking around in this map. Right. And this whole thing with the buttons above the fizzlers just seems rather unnecessary. Well, that's still too much. I think we need a little bit less than that, actually. Still too much. How much... how much is enough? How about this much? That seems like enough. Yeah, alright. I'm not really sure what's intended there, though. I do how I do like how you forced a solution in the first area, but, uh... Yeah, still... still need some improvement. But don't worry about it, it's your first map. You could probably just move on to making new maps now at this point. 
Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!